G'day, this is Simon and James at South OC Cars and Coffee. Overcast day, but good weather. Good turnout of cars. What have you seen, James? Uh, the 992 GT3 in the front row is really nice. Isn't this, this is the perfect weather for Halloween. It's kind of like spooky, misty. It's, it's good for today for the trunk of tree. It is. In fact, if you look behind us, you'll see my car and also James is wrapped with co uh, cobwebs. Uh, we've got a trunk or treat event, so really cool. Hey, there's that uh, genuine Shelby Cobra as well. Not one built in the 60s, but it's bodied or vend as a 65, I believe, uh, built in the 90s, but still a genuine Shelby as well. That car's here getting showcased before it goes to auction, uh, which is kind of cool as well. Hey, let's go for a walk and check it out. So as I mentioned, it's trunk or treat weekend here at South OC Cars and Coffee. So we got cars, as you can see, my Camaro, James's R8, we've uh, wrapped them for Halloween. So people have done that to their cars, they've dressed up uh, in costume and also giving out candy to kids as well. Let's go and check it out. This beautiful 4 GT belongs to Jay, one of our longest serving volunteers, one of our photographers. And uh, one of the things you'll notice that he was very proud of that he did uh, a couple of days ago. See those inserts here in the seat? He's actually made those look like the prototype of the GT that was made. Uh, they were black before and he's put those inserts in there. So great car and it's nice to have that bit of retro authenticity to it as well. Can't walk past this, Sarah would kill me. This is her favorite car. Of course, this is the beautiful Land Rover Defender, but as you can see under the hood, there is a newer Corvette engine in there, an LS transplant. And what a great thing to do because, well, as much as I love the old Land Rovers, they weren't the, uh, the most powerful uh, vehicle around. So this one, Corvette engine, uh, is gonna certainly get up and go. Love the interior in this as well. Not a diamond stitch, but a square pattern stitch, which looks very, very nice. That dark green, Sort of reminiscent of British racing green. Isn't that lovely? Just such a great looking vehicle. Have a look at this Land Cruiser tent up on top, awning around the outside. This guy is set up. We did this. Absolutely party. cool. Done by, uh, Jace just said done by uh, Next Level Detailing, the finish on this thing. Isn't this cool? You know, and the reality is, if you want to go off road, there is nothing more capable than a Land, a land Cruiser. So um, this thing is ultra cool. Go wherever you go. Check this thing out, this beautiful C3 1970 454 Corvette belongs to one of my best friends, Pete. I uh, was lucky enough to go for a ride in it the other night. Took delivery of it and said, come on, we're gonna go for a ride in this thing. Really cool, so period correct. He's been after a Corvette like this for a long, long time and this one came on the market and he uh, pulled the trigger on it and uh, glad that he did. What a great car. Just so, so cool riding around in this thing. You feel like you're taken back in time. Just such great classic lines on these older Corvettes. Now this is a really interesting car. James has just been walking around doing a video on it. This is a um, 1965 Shelby Cobra. Now not one of the original cars that was built in 1965 but it is actually vinned uh, as a CSX 4060. So not 
the authentic original one, but also a Shelby. So interesting uh, car, a lot of value in this car. It's about to go up to auction um, uh, because of this authenticity and uh, some pedigree to it as well. But um, really great to see this car here. They wanted to bring it along here before it goes to auction to get as many eyes on it as possible. Absolutely stunning Testarossa rolling out. Black with the red interior. Oh my goodness. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely immaculate. So this is the previous car of the week winner and uh, so well decorated but what really caught my eye look at this that is awesome good job I think we might have found our winner for uh, the, the best decorated car that's for sure nicely done nicely done oh and I love this spider See, this is one of the important reasons why you must have a V8, because if you didn't have a V8, the distributor wouldn't have the right number of legs. Because right. yeah. six cylinder would look like an amputee spider, but hey, great job guys, really good. Thanks for, uh, for thank you for the pumpkin, that's awesome. So this is a really cool looking 1973 Pontiac Grand Am. I walked past this and, and as soon as I looked under the hood, knew there was something special. The reason being, see that MSD intake there? That's an Air Force intake. That will only work on either an LSX or uh, a LS7. Not a regular LS engine. So I asked the owner, he said, yes, it's an LS7. So immediately it's got that really cool uh, 427 in there, but really nicely done. Beautiful wheels, massive uh, wheelwood brakes on there and a really nice interior as well. Hearst logo embroidered into the seats and into the, the mats down there, Hearst shifter. This thing is super cool. Love the way it's been done. And it's not a car you typically see somebody put a lot of time and effort into, which makes it even more special. It's because everybody seems to do Chevelles or and not that there's anything wrong with that, of course, but so great to see something a little bit different. And for me, I think one of the real great touches is that, that LS7 is actually painted up the original Pontiac colour, so really, really nice car.
nice looking 458, ton of bodywork, looks great. Wheels are really nice on it, because they look like classic Ferrari. Very nice. Love 458s, they're probably one of my favorite all time Ferraris. Always great when we see clubs show up here. Mustangs this morning, more Mustangs than I've ever seen in one place before, I think. Check them out. Two rows, a lot of the guys have left already, but really great to see these clubs come along. Now, these guys just showed up. There's also Vipers over there. There's all sorts of clubs that have come in today. Uh, 370Zs. If you've got a club and you want to come to South AC Cars and Coffee and park together, these guys were lucky this morning because it wasn't quite as busy. But reach out to us on Facebook um, through South AC Cars and Coffee and we will reserve a space for you and let you in a few minutes before everybody else just to make sure you can park together. But uh, great to see these guys here this morning. That's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe below. Uh, how cool the turnout today. Love Pete's beautiful 1970 Corvette. What a great car. Oh, that thing's gorgeous. Yeah, the blue interior, super period correct. Yeah. Very, very nice. A uh, huge shout out to all the sponsors for making this show possible. We've got Meguiar's, Polestar, Share Your Car, Next Level Detailing, as well as Team Road to Safety. Pacific Air Cooled, BMW Performance Center West, and then Align Financial Insurance Services and Haggerty as well. And then also welcoming our newest sponsor, Sweet Orange Adventures. Huge shout out to all the volunteers that come out each week to help us put on this show. Uh, remember, if you guys do want to volunteer, hit us up on Instagram at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. It's our merchandise page is where we handle all the volunteers. Yep. Uh, you do get to bring your car in early, and then you also do get a free coffee and donut as well that's supplied by Ruby's. Yeah, big thank you to Ruby's for doing that, and also setting up outside each week as well. And of course, a rock wells as well for looking after everybody big thank you to outlets of san clemente as well for allowing us to be here please do your bit by supporting the outlets as a thank you for allowing south oc cars and coffee to uh, take place every week have a great week we'll see you back here next week for another south oc cars and coffee see you guys